The very first photograph known was taken in France in the year 1826. The photo is called The View from the Window at Le Gras. A few years later, in 1838, the first person was captured in this 10-minute long photograph by Louis Duguerre of Paris. All the people and traffic in the street were blurred, except for the man having his shoes polished in the lower left corner. Photography quickly evolved from just a novelty to a way to document reality. Portrait photography quickly became very popular. Its quality held no rival. More photos were taken in just 30 years than portraits were painted in the previous thousand. The quest for making things more real advanced, and in the 1840s, techniques for making stereoscopic or 3D photographs were created. The process of making 3D photos involves mimicking human vision. We have two eyes, and a stereoscopic camera takes two photographs at once, one to represent each eye view. Each photo, offset by a small distance, about the same distance as your eyes are apart, creates perspective. In the past, special viewers were used to view 3D photos. Your left eye sees the left image, your right eye sees the right one. These two views, when seen at once, are combined by the brain into one image, which your brain imagines as depth. When the American Civil War broke in 1861, 3D photos were already being taken on the battlefield. They were very popular and were sold by the thousands. Some 50 years later, stereoscopic photography reached its peak just as World War I started. Thousands of photos were taken by all sides. They documented every aspect of war, from the new machines on the battlefield to the men who fought. However, these images were taken under less than ideal circumstances. The original images are dirty. One eye is darker than the other. Oftentimes, they had focus problems. The images were often out of alignment. For this film, all these issues have been corrected for the very first time. The photographs you're about to see are better now than the day they were taken. Soldier's story. It's the same today as it was a hundred years ago. I'm Jim McGurk. I fought in Iraq. Since returning from Iraq, I founded a theater company. I was in Afghanistan. Operation Desert Storm and Desert Shield.